hey guys welcome back to my channel so i told you guys to message me any advice you guys need or some topics anything to help you guys i'm here and i'm game and i had somebody message me a really really good topic which i was like okay let's talk about this so i'm gonna give you like an input you know obviously from something i'm learning and then i'm gonna give you an input of something i've been through um i just like doing that so that way you guys understand like i've been through a lot of these situations why do you think i know about these type of things um but first and foremost i just want to say anybody is going through this please understand try not to stress out try not to worry understand that if you make something a big issue it's gonna blow up so just try to have a healthy habit of talking about these things and please understand before i get into the video watch your tone talking to your partner men and women anything i talk about y'all because you guys are going crazy in the comments all the time um it goes for men it goes for women we know this y'all like both genders cheat, both genders lie, both genders, you know, do stuff. So let's stop the men only this and men, women only this. No. And if you guys think I'm a woman hater, I'm only attacking women. No, got to understand I'm a woman. So I can't sit here and say men do this, men do that. Why do you think I tell women take accountability, do this? I'm a woman. I see issues in the women community. So I can speak on that because I'm a girl. Make sense? But by any means, guys, I want you guys in flourishing, happy relationships. That's the whole point of my video. So any of you guys who think, oh, she hates women, she's misogynistic, take a hike. Stop with all that extra stuff. Now Maybe let's get stop. right into it. So this person asked me, hey, Tay, I'm with somebody who is constantly accusing me of cheating. I cannot do it anymore. It's getting to the point where they feel as though they're getting suffocated. Now, first and foremost, I'm sorry that you're going through that. I know this is probably hard for you, but I'm going to try to help you and enlighten you on some things. So there are a lot of factors that can put into play with this. You have to know your partner like to the T. If you guys never sat down and talked about their trauma, what is what they dealt with, what has happened to them, you probably won't understand where this is coming from. I always feel like couples should be in tune with each other. If you guys aren't like this, it's never going to work. And what I mean by that is like you need to understand each other's traumas. You need to understand what triggers them, what triggers her. Like that's how it works. If you don't know your partner, how are you going to be able to meet them in their love language or help them? You see what I'm saying? And with these type of situations, before I even get into it, don't shun your partner. Don't, oh my God, here we go again. Oh, oh, all this. No, you do stuff like that. You are not creating a safe space for your partner to feel comfortable to even tell you things. Don't you want your partner to come to you and not anybody else? Exactly. So I know it's going to become repetitive and probably dealing with this a lot, but you got to understand this. If you're going to sit and stay in this relationship, would you want it to be chaotic or healthy? You choose. So the more and more you keep running from it, how do you think the problem gets? Bigger and bigger and bigger. So please handle that like an adult and then you can now, proceed, baby. Let's say your partner has dealt with a lot of cheating in their past and they've gone through a lot of stuff. I personally feel like you should not be in a relationship. If you are projecting your issues onto your partner, whether you're a man or a woman, you need to stay single. I see a lot of people go from relationship to relationship. They'll get dogged out, go into a relationship, even though you feel like it doesn't hurt you or I'm fine, do you know that you literally, when you become one with somebody, you pick up their bad habits, you pick up their good habits, you're around that person a lot. You need time to become your own person all over again. So if you're going from man to man, woman to woman, stop that. Take the time to heal, be alone, fix your issues, journal, get a therapist, but deal with your stuff on your own before you invite anybody. Because imagine somebody trying to love you and you don't see it because... Your ex messed up on you. Your ex cheated on you. How is it fair to the person trying to love you? You see what I'm saying? And the last thing you want to do is literally ruin somebody who could have potentially loved you. You see what I'm saying? And if this is the worst thing that a lot of people don't understand. Well, not the worst thing, but you know, it's the worst for people who don't get this. Guys, if you go from an unhealthy relationship to a very healthy relationship, it's going to be so new to you. It's going to feel like, oh my God, what's wrong? Like you're so used to chaos. You're not used to this. So please understand, heal first. So if your partner has gone through a lot of cheating, gone through a lot of stuff, you're going to sit them down and you're going to tell them, hey, I understand how you feel. I see that, you know, you think that I'm going to cheat on you or you're feeling some type of way because of your ex. I need you to understand. I will never do nothing like that. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm here for you. And I will reassure you anytime you need. But I feel as though you're disrespecting me because you're looking at me different when I am not that type of person. 
And think about this, guys. That's like accusing somebody of stealing who's not stealing. Do you expect me to want to be with you after that? After you make me seem like I'm a bad person? And I'm not going to lie to y'all. The type of person that I am, like, I can only take so much. And back then, y'all, I used to give chance after chance after chance after chance. I'm a three-strike rule you're out person now. If I have to tell you one time, two time, and three time, you're gone. Because you got to understand this, guys. I have dealt with so much shit in my life that has made me feel super insecure has made me feel uh, like very belittled about myself and i never looked at myself in a healthy way when i looked in the mirror i wasn't proud of anything and now i am i've built this up for a whole year so why would i sit here and be with somebody who's accusing me making me seem like i'm fucking future when i'm not you see what i'm saying like i'm not a toxic person who's gonna cheat on you and we go through issues and i'm just gonna bounce and leave i don't get down like that so if you start looking at me like that and making me look at myself in the mirror different i'm not gonna want to be with you because i want a partner who's encouraging me loving me having my back and on top of that you have to make sure you come to your partner in a healthy manner like if you come to your partner are you cheating are you cheating oh yeah i know you are okay that's shaming at that point and that's disrespectful lower your voice and talk to your partner in a healthy way hey babe um something has happened where i'm getting really triggered i don't understand where it's coming from i need help i need help and i don't know what to say but i feel as though like you're gonna cheat on me what can we do to to work this out or what can we do to help me not get these type of feelings or emotions you know what I've noticed about a lot of people who accuse their partners of stuff? They never say what I just said. They go off of the mouth and, yeah, you're a cheater. Yeah, I know you are. You like this picture? Who's this? You see what I'm saying? You never ask for help. You never tell your partner what's really going on. So in their mind, they're like, okay, this person's attacking me. And what happens when a dog feels attacked? They're going to attack you back. They feel threatened. I don't think you guys understand how important it is to create a safe space within your relationship. You can have two ways to approach things, guys. Scream and yell like at the first example or sit there and be, hey, babe, you know, I need help. Something's triggering me. And I'm pretty sure, and it always works, your partner's going to reassure you. They're going to help you. But I want to say this over and over again. If you're going to sit and stay with this person, please handle the issue, you guys. The more you run away from it, the problem's going to go from this to this to this. And now it's a big old issue because you wanted to run and not deal with it. Create a safe space for your partner to communicate because now you don't want them going to other people. You want them to talk to you. Now, another thing that I'm going to say, and I don't want you to put this in your head and think this correlates with you, but there's a lot of people in this world who cheat. And they project their issues on you. And now they're like, oh shit, they're so worried that they're cheating that you're going to cheat. So please be mindful where those those accusations are coming from. It could be two things. Them going through trauma and then they you might be doing something their ex did that's triggering it. Or they're cheating and you don't know it. And they're projecting that on you because now they're worried you're going to cheat. So that's one that I've been through. Um, I had... I was with a girl, you guys, who would constantly accuse me of cheating, like get pissed off at me. And one time she threw my phone at me and said, oh, I know you deleted stuff. Mind you, at the time, I didn't even have a phone password on my thing. So could you imagine how I felt? Y'all, I'm like my first relationship and this girl's going off at my mouth at the mouth for what? So it got kind of annoying. One day my friend hit me up. She was cheating on me for a whole year and I didn't even know. So I'm not saying that that's the case. I'm just telling you that I've been through stuff like that. And then I've also been with somebody who, you know, in the beginning, they would accuse me of that type of stuff, but they didn't know me, you guys. They didn't see how I got down. Once I started reassuring them and saying, I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not this. And they seen how I was around other people and how I was in my relationship. That stopped because I constantly reassured them. I constantly let them know, like, you know, it's okay. You do not have to do these things, but I did those things because I felt like it was necessary in this relationship. When I was with my ex-partner, I would let them see my phone, you know, go ahead, look through my phone. They had my password, whatever. They didn't always look through my phone, but it was every once in a while, and that doesn't bother me. If that's gonna help you get better, let's do that. Because you gotta understand this, we're a team. What are we fighting for? What are we arguing? And if anybody knows me, y'all, I might be like crazy and off of the mouth. But when it comes to my partner, I can't do that. I cannot do that arguing shit to where we're mad at each other and we hate each other. And I, I'm not like that. I'm like the babe. Can we talk? I, I can't, y'all. I don't know why I'm not like that. I don't like going to sleep mad. I don't like my partner hating me or me hating my partner. It's just not installed in my DNA. I can't do it. So I highly recommend watching your tone of voice. Do not scream and yell at each other. And please, no name calling, you guys. You guys are a team. You don't need to, oh, you're a cheater ass, B, all this. No. If you do not have hard evidence, callate. And the one thing that I'm going to say, this is why I say talk about your boundaries, please, in the beginning, you guys. Because if he's liking pictures and doing all that and you never stated that was an issue, how are you going to get mad? You see what I'm saying? So please understand, talk about these things from the jump. 
There is nothing wrong with telling somebody your trauma so that they can understand you better. But projecting your issues on somebody is a red flag and it's a no-no. So guys, like I keep saying, deal with your issues before you get into a relationship so you can have a healthy, flourishing relationship. And if you don't know anything, there are so many videos on YouTube about controlling your emotions, how to speak to your partner, be more feminine. And men, take it from me, because I know there's a lot of men following me. When you talk to your woman, I get a lot of women are naggy and they talk about the same thing and bring up the same issue. But that's because a lot of the times a lot of men will walk away or not want to deal with it. So you have to sit there and talk to your partner and reassure them. It's going to be hard. It's not easy, you guys. This stuff is not a walk in the park, but like I keep saying over and over again, you want your relationship to be chaotic or do you want it to be good? The thing about me and the reason why I'm okay with all my relationships uh, that didn't work out was because I know for a fact, you guys, I tried. When I tell you, I tried, let's talk about it. Let's this, let's that. And I had some people being, oh, I don't want this, I don't want that. The more you shun me and the more you treat me like crap where I'm trying to communicate with you, guess what? I'm out. I'm out. And then now you want to be with me when I'm out. See what I'm saying? Why do you think I don't feel very bad about none of my ex-partners? Because I did everything I could to make it work. And trust me, when I left, I didn't feel nothing. I was cool. Because you have to think about that. What are you doing in this relationship not trying to work things out? So please make sure you guys are equally working as a team. There can't be one person always trying to talk you guys, always trying to handle things, always trying to be an adult, while the other one's always like, mm, I don't want this. And if your partner's accusing you constantly... Talk to them, sit them down, reassure them, ask them, hey, is there anything I can help you with? What can I do to make it better? But again, you have to communicate and be able to comprehend each other properly. But guys, I hope that sums up the video. I love you guys so much. If anybody's new on this page, thank you for joining my team, babies. I love you. Um, have a beautiful day, guys. If you guys have any more um, questions you want answered, hit me up in my email. I'll probably leave it somewhere here. But guys, I need to say something because you guys don't understand this. In a non-rude way, I love y'all. But why are you guys sending me six pages of, of messages? I mean, of yeah, messages to read. I'm talking about saying advice things and I'm having people write like, I mean, long ass things. I'm like, guys, I can't read all that. And I'm, what do you call it? I want to be able to talk about it. So please, if you guys send me stuff, try to like sum it all up so that it's like at least a little bit of one page. But yeah, guys, I really love y'all. Have a good one. God bless. Stay safe, y'all.